I'm going to leave the extras uh, of the submissions up here on this table. If you didn't uh, get one or you want to pass one on to somebody that you know in town, go ahead and you can grab those at the break. Okay, next we're going to hear from our uh, trusty sound person, <laughs> Scott, come on up. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Wish I would have known I was up next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, next time. Hello, beautiful people. Wow, oh, there are a lot of you out there. This is great. Um, I'm going to read a poem for you. <coughs> Don't go outside. Don't breathe. The air is full of trees. Ash bites my eyes. This isn't real. The story I heard on the radio, she said she saw them giggling, hucking fire into the canyon. One deemed guilty, the others complicit. But how are any of we any less complicit? Tell myself whatever helps to sleep at night. Like, it isn't real. It's really not coming this direction still. It's not burning outside right now. Uh, the forecast will be right, and it will rain for once. On Thursday, we too may be able to see the flames licking hungry ashes off our car windows like the wind. When the Garden of Eden went under and turned into petroleum, it took the tree of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil with it so we can taste another time. Don't stay inside. It's creeping through our leaky building envelopes for letters never sent like this to dust. Drink plenty of water. Wear a mask if you must go out. Drive only if absolutely necessary. Don't park on dry grass. In case of insomnia, take the enclosed meds. In case of depression, take the enclosed meds. In case of suicidal thoughts, take the enclosed meds. In case of erectile dysfunction, take the enclosed meds. <laughs> they say it rained a bit in Portland today. Little patches of blue sky through the fog in my head, I can see a few cumulus outlines finding relief against the heavens as earth clears from lower atmosphere over here. But I find only numbness as combusted plant matter chokes me gently again, burning with addicted desire to make myself one with the fire. Thank you. going to have one more reader before our featured reader this evening. Our featured reader is Coleman Stevenson. She has brought some books and she's got some good poetry for you and I'm excited about hearing her. Before we invite her up, we're going to hear from Gary. There's a, uh, this is a shout out moment too. Uh, Catholic at Washington, there's a, uh, this Friday and Saturday, uh, an art festival happening there. And there'll be poets reading and musicians and two and 3D artists. And I work in 3D and uh, on Saturday, the, that's when those people are showing. So if you get a chance to come up, please do. The first poem is called Dragon's Breath or the Korean Enigma. One. The newly glazed celadon vase sits dispassionately. Dragon's eyes await dawn's azure glaze. Two, mesmerizing flames spew centuries of collected angst. Gold leaf halo silently adorns the aged beast. 
clawing its way back through cavernous bedrock, belching once again into mortal's realm, lifting the hatch, attaching warrior's wings onto a ballistic rocket's feast. The second poem is Mine and Yours, The Neighbor. A soldier's row of newly planted arborvita, six feet above the trench line, defined along the snow melt creek, held to breast as though nature cares who is to the north or south. He meanders by, tucked in twilight's flicker, catches my eye and the awkwardness of naked space between us. <laughs> the last one is Lucky 13. Beyond 10, I cannot count. The heart has no number to equate what the soul and liar know. Inhaled and exhaled plum blossoms release whiffs on pathways, and I wallow in their delight. Thirteen petals reach for earth, clasping one, softly dancing from fingers to palm, sallying so easily, released back to fate. And I marvel for a moment how she was mine. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. And thank you to everyone for getting up and telling us about all the great stuff that's happening in our communities. Uh, there's so much going on, as I said earlier. Uh, we're excited about our, our feature tonight. Uh, Coleman Stevenson is the author of two collections of poems, uh, Breakfast and The Accidental Rarification of Pattern, number 5609. Is that the full title? Okay, I almost didn't, didn't read that part. Her work has appeared or is forthcoming in a variety of publications, including Portable Boot, re boot Reader, uh, Grandma, Paper Darts, Seattle Review, E-Ratio, Osiris, Louisiana Literature, Mid-American Review, and the anthology Motionless from the Iron Bridge. She's been a guest curator for various gallery spaces in the Portland area and has also taught poetry, design theory, and cultural studies at a number of different institutions there. Um, she created and taught the image and text track in the certificate program at the Independent Publishing Resource Center since 2015. That's a great place over there in Portland that you should check out. She also creates tarot cards and other divination products through her business, The Dark Exact, and she has uh, the, the uh, cards as well as uh, the book to go along with the cards here for sale tonight. And uh, we are very happy to welcome her here to Ghost Town Poetry Open Mic for the first time. Please say hello to Coleman Stevenson. My enthusiastic poeting. No, it's not. It's not going to be very enthusiastic. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate being asked to come out here. And Vancouver is awesome. Um, I think I've been here once before, and I've lived in Portland for 20 years. So um, I don't have a car, but I'll try to brave the public transportation system from now on and come and hang out. It's really cool around here. Yeah. It's so great. My friend Taylor, she, yeah, it is. She has a company called the Venderia. Um, she does these awesome vending machines that she puts in bars all over Portland. Well, she just got one in Low Bar down the way. So I've been wanting to come and visit anyway. So okay, <laughs> poems. Um, so anyway, thank you. And um, you don't have to clap if you don't want to between things. I'll just like kind of plow straight through. Um, so I'll read a few poems from this book, Breakfast. Uh, the poems in here, they're all numbered. They're numbered by the day of the year that this is loosely a story of, I guess I'll say. OK. Um, so this is number 43. 
What is the story you have made of me? Do I begin with your first awareness, or have you imagined backwards to my child feet walking through ferns, the spark of these eyes first searching out known constellations in the dark? I would want to show you the origins of all things, but I am not allowed to want, nor is there a creator God. Cessation of all thought will not make my story end. There is no destroyer God either. Time and death run, we are in the race. There is only preservation in between things that do not exist, the gap of black between planets we've never seen with our own eyes. Um, 115. I'm a mix of wanting to buy all the plants at the garden center and not caring if anything ever grows again. Along the sill, it is funny. <laughs> now. <laughs> Along the sill, small black beads of ants string the stem to get what's sticky on the lemon's leaves, but they always go home at night. Because they are ants, I do not want them to stay, so don't read this as our metaphor. Ours is a major to minor goodbye. I can't stand the way the air looks when you move through it away from me and you never look back, afraid I'll disappear into the underground, taking with me this season. 126. I love to let you see my flaws, but downplay them, show you effort. The truth has elegant intentions, but art is the truth maker. 130. Jealousy is so pure, I forget myself. Some stones slide easily across a pond, some sink. An argument approaching the end of a season, bees busy getting what they can. I have put almost a whole life into my short life with you, taking my cues from those pollinators, forgetting they are also their own weapons. Um, 180. On the train alone, generator busted, compartment without air. I sweat out uncertainty. If I die first, I promise to haunt you. It's a pact we'll make. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm going to read some newer poems now. Um, Tell me spring is not a wretched thing, a Catherine wheel that wrecks the air with bloom. I am hot and can't sleep. I am mourning the passing of sorrow. I am trying to do it with grace. I am trying and failing. I went to the water to escape. Sea air is Gemini air. Air near water is mercury in action. Mercury is my drink of choice. I did not swim out looking for dark shapes. I stayed on the shore. A bird is a bird. I cannot fly. We were grounded on the sand in a useful way, in the way that roots are not always something to fear. I've still got the gray sea on my shoes. I've got a photograph as proof of shadows. I'd like to say I could take it or leave it, but it sounds like summer outside already, already golden passing into green. I know you're kind. We would go on walks at dusk through neighborhoods, scented with grass clippings. You would buy me Coke Icy's. I feel familiarity, which seems the strongest emotion, but I do not choose it. Two roads in a yellow wood, and sorry I looked down one. I was clipped to the paths of ideas, and they undid me. I was forked and following in my mind, thinking the man who said it could have gone down both roads, just one one day and the other the next. But every little thing changes you. You can't be the same traveler, never the same traveler twice. He watched the trees shaking off their clothes. Please notice me, they begged. Everyone I care about is golden. Everyone I love is learning lines and letting them fly as a bird flies north with the cosmos in its claws. I am still not a bird and do not need to fly down any other road. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Um, seven days. In the beginning, there was a cart and no horse. Nowhere to go beyond the cul-de-sac, the creek bed and the cave. I curated a legacy of dishes under tutelage of the worried mother. Relatives were frequently sick and needing to go to hospitals. They would be taped back together and we would go back home and keep on living. Their kitchen counters served pill bottles by day of the week. I suffered through allergy shots so I could go outside, then Blistex for chapped lips in winter at bedtime. She said, the burn means it's working. She said that for back team too, on skinned knees. I loved the smell. We outlasted the hospital people. One by one went under itchy grass. Today, tomorrow, but not forever, is the meaning of the pillbox now on my nightstand. You might think using it would make the wrinkles set in, but I see it as a gift of foresight. I'm certain I'll make it the next seven days. I feel good that each one has something of the same in it, a smaller cart with just enough horsepower. That breeds philosophy as much as epiphany does. Not to adhere, not to worship. I practice my philosophy like a craft to get good at it. That's why I'm a light sleeper. I hear little feet thumping down the hall, water turning on and off, the house stretching, the moon counting down. Things happen at night. The teenage boyfriend who dumped me for being too sad years later fell off a mountain in Africa and died. They said it was nighttime, <laughs> that he lost his footing. Why are we all laughing at that? <laughs> it's true, unfortunately. They said it was nighttime, that he lost his footing. He only had a dark horse too eager to gallop. My life had been a constant museum. I had to grow up sometime. Beyond the material crust float rough rocks we've named. I bet they call themselves something else or nothing at all. I still believe in Pluto, believe the sky is the sun of ether and the earth. It rains here, then it doesn't, yet we trust the weather report. There may be a 100% chance of rain, but what kind of rain and how much, for how long? When it's time to change, change. Bring the leaves down in waves, make a hole where no hole was before, drown the starter self in shallow mud, no cart, no horse, just a pattern of seven days gradually loosening until there is only one, but it's the only one that you need. Um, I have uh, a natural disaster, et cetera, res response as well. So here's uh, to go with yours that we just enjoyed. Cool. Unfortunately enjoyed, I shouldn't say. But you all laughed at my friend's death, so <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is called <laughs> Small Valuable Things. When the earthquake hits, I will pocket the bottles of perfume. In the box of doom, dividers seem arbitrary. It is all happening at once. The scientist denies divination until his own life is explained to him. Then he sees the desires of inanimate objects. The earth breaks and invites you in. Fire is measured in percentages. Trees thousands of miles away throw themselves onto houses with the help of wind. A flood around your shoes is rising to tour the second floor bedrooms. A key in the water unlocks emotion. Ash takes to the western air, flirts with my eyes. A spider mistakes a piece of tree ash that floated into its web for food, but you can't suck dry what's already bled. Um, this, is, this one's in pieces. Uh, so I'll just pause a bit between the sections. Uh, the path and the obstacle. I had said I wanted a real snow, and then it came down fast and thick, made the trees look like spring, the ground feel like sand, like walking through dunes. It does not matter to me if the trees bloom. That is a byproduct in its beauty, 
of this preferred landscape. I said I wanted it to stay, to stop time so I could hide out. I said I wanted to play in the other world that had been conjured in ice, leave my mark in deep rivets of footfalls along the road. I said I wanted to take my home with me when I go places in the world, build a virtual world. Yours is the only one I look for. I find a consistency of brutal opinions. I find an inconsistency of honest attention. I find enemies and disappearances. In the fairy tale I watch, the queen has no joy. The jesters make a play for her, and the king laughs along. He glances over to share the moment, but she is ashen and pinched. Someone has taken away her joy. These clowns cannot replace it. The man in black makes her a deal, but such deals require a death in exchange, whose death is never specified at the time of bargaining. The game of the self is played constantly. You can play mine. I'm writing rules in the air all the time. When the rules change, you will know because the weather will correspond. What do you like? Where are you going? Who will be there? How will you get home? There have been other queens who like to carve their kingdoms out in ice. They are never written about kindly. They stick icicles in hearts and call it love. The thing I do is called obliteration. I scratch up my path like a black chicken so no one can follow, bury it under a foot of lace, make myself impossible. I throw stones, then do what the stones say. I cast you out, I cast myself out. Take the first available ghost and plant it inside. The crackle of a dead record, a record's end, is the sound of a brush fire spreading. What are we doing that occupies us so we can't restart the needle? The news clip I don't want to see plays in the corner of the screen and clicking to shut it up only makes it bigger. Opinions are louder than they need to be and louder even against the hush of snow outside. I am afraid of the news, big and small, afraid of the black box, the screen, afraid of print and being seen. We live in the shadow of the castle we have made. Would you come for me if the tower crumbled? Not everything worth doing can be done at a distance. The course of a fever includes the chills. Once you learn this, you never forget. But in the moment, the coldness feels unending. Um, so I have two more poems for you. This one's a little strange. Um, I haven't read it before. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. So here it is. It's called Life, because what else would I call it? <laughs> Talk about a perfect catch-all title. Life. Baseball caps, silly putty, people I have loved, people with real careers, hot tea gone too cold to drink, layoffs and leavings, a better way to think, gum resting on the roof of my mouth, something I can't remember, my garish face sometimes, sun lifting the color out, the lean in, the dodge, we are the displacers of what happened before. Titles are the first to go, erased from a prayer, the furnace coughing out old smoke. Names are next, faces widening, the skull of the moon, a great connector who never connects. Every time we don't, scorpion in the shoe, people I've wronged, people who've wronged me, the liars and the cheats. Silly little girls with silly little crushes. Vultures suck the air out with their wings. Tell me you'll never pretend I didn't. This place where we sleep, where we wish we slept. A phone charging on the bedside table. A phone charging across the room. A phone on silent, one missed call. 
a midnight run, fear deep in the gut, extinction as a form of flying away. If you can't see it, it lives forever, the way children must chase rabbits, my grandmother's silk flowers, the edges rolled with glue, congestion speaking as ringing in the ears, picking the locks digitally with clues, life as an object, lifting the veil of my delusions. When there is no cat, we can do what we want. Existing on a plane within the other plane, hearing you while I also hear myself. Wasn't it always just this way? No, no, I don't think so. Uh, and I'm going to close with this. I wasn't going to read this poem. I just happened to have it shoved in my book from a previous reading. But given that everything in the gallery is read, I think I'll read the poem that is called Everything is Red. Yeah. <laughs> and then that'll be all. Um, <laughs> so this is actually based on a Mark Rothko painting. Um, but, you know, there's not really a title to, I mean, they're all this one. Like untitled, no, it's not going to really get you to it. Okay, anyway, it's red, I'll tell you. It is a red painting, uh, and it's big. Okay, and there's a quote by Gertrude Stein from Tender Buttons uh, at the start of this. Um, go red, go red, laugh white. Carnations, carnelian, heartaches and blush, cardinals, some apples, the sweet gum and fall. Cap gun tips and cowboy hats, a squealing afternoon. Birmingham dirt, fire ant mound, the swarm spilling into my shoes. A dodgeball war, the welts like lace. Every other zinnia flower, the Chinese garden gates. Cut blood root, cinnabar rings, wax around a wheel of cheese. Turkish rugs, highway lines, amanita under the pines. The rooster's head, the kitchen walls, the devil and everything growing tall, the phone call, the clock dial, the cause and explanation, the sorrow, the red sorrow, words spelled wrong on screen. My hands full of splinters, your hands full of blood, the cushion you knelt on to reach where I stood. When the night dropped its black observant hush, the red light of dawn made a play on the wall. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. Um, uh, we have a, a quick announcement before I uh, talk about what's going to happen next. Yeah. Come on up. Yeah. Forgot to say this earlier. So. Uh, some of you are on Facebook connected to me, but others of you aren't. Uh, me and my friend Ben, for a joint junior-senior project last year, completed a comic book, and uh, I just got the prints of the comic book, and it takes about a month to ship them out, and the first 20 copies that I just got have already been bought, but next month I'm going to buy more, and if anyone would like one. It's called Fairy. Just come up to me during the break and uh, talk to me and I'll write like your email down and then I'll email you when they're ready. Yeah. Thank you. Comic books, the music comic books, all kinds of things happening in this community. So Coleman has uh, the, the book Breakfast, 43 Poems, available for, 20, for $12. The Tarot Guide is $20 and the Tarot Deck is $36. So I'll be selling those uh, for her during the break. And uh, she's here to, to also sign those for you. There's food and drink next door. If for some reason uh, you're not able to join us after the break, the next reading will be on October 12. Our featured reader will be uh, Washington State Poet Laureate uh, Todd Marshall. So, But I hope to see all of you after the break. We've got a lot, a lot more uh, open mic poetry uh, to come. So about 15 minutes, uh, stretch your legs, get something to eat and drink, buy one of Coleman's uh, books and, or tarot cards, and we'll see you soon.